Hello, this is Dikutyon and it's weekly English news. State and 120,000 people in Akan state have remained displaced for more than five years following the eruption of intercommunal conflicts between Buddhist and minority Muslim Rohingya. During his visit, Mr. Grande traveled to Yangon, Nebito, as well as Setwe and Mongdo in Arkan state and met with displaced persons. A crucial first step is to pursue freedom of movement and access to services and livelihoods for all. Accelerated pathways to citizenship are also part of the solution as our efforts to tackle exclusion and poverty. Mr. Grandi said alluding to the country's denial of citizenship to the Rohingya. He met with Myanmar State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi, the Minister of Social Welfare, Relief and Settlement, Dr. Min Mit A, the Minister of Labour, Immigration and Population, Wu Ten Shui, and the Minister of Border Affairs, Lieutenant General Ye Ong. Rohingya organization participated in a workshop organized by the UNHCR last Thursday in coordination with Ministry of Interior in Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. The workshop aimed at discussing the ways and the mechanism of enacting laws refugees to work in Malaysian companies and institutions by issuing working cards from the authorities. Our car news agency correspondent said that the workshop put in final recommendation a preliminary plan to employ 100 to 150 refugees registered with the commission after receiving government approval noting that this does not include new refugees. At the workshop, the government of Malaysia expressed hope that all refugees could receive ID cards from UNHCR and granting freedom to work on Malaysian territory. The meeting was attended by an official from the Malaysian Ministry of Interior, representative of a UNHCR, a civil society organization and NGOs, activists also from the companies that will employ refugees and have jobs in multiple sectors. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Sunday urged the international community, including the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, to put pressure on Myanmar to take back Rohingya refugees living in Bangladesh. She made the plea when UNHCR High Commissioner Filippo Grande met her at her Sengsad Baban office. PM's Press Secretary Isanul Karim briefed reporters after the meeting. He said the Prime Minister mentioned that the long-standing problem can be solved by ensuring sustainable repatriation of the Myanmar refugees to their homeland. Sheikh Hasina put emphasis on creating a cogenial uh, atmosphere for the Rohingya people by the Myanmar government. She said the Rohingya refugees have been living an inhuman life in Bangladesh and their suffering have been worsened further by the torrential uh, rain uh, season. The Prime Minister mentioned that the Bangladesh is a densely populated country and these refugees are creating pressure on its socio-economic structures. Hasina said her government has identified some island areas and plan to build necessary structures including shelter, school and hospitals for the Rohingya refugees. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Filippo Grande, has visited two Rohingya camps in Koch's Bazar and talked to Myanmar's minority people who fled to Bangladesh due to prosecution. Filippo visited two Rohingya refugee camps, one registered and another unregistered at Kutupalang in Ukia Upuzula around noon, reports our Koch's Bazar correspondent. He talked to the refugees for one and a half hour there. When journalists tried to talk to him, he said, I will brief media in Dhaka tomorrow. He have also met Cox's Bazar Deputy Commissioner. Filippo arrived in Dhaka on Saturday on a three-day trip. He met Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and Home Minister Asaduzzaman Khan Kamal. He also met Foreign Minister I.H. Mahmoud Ali on Saturday to discuss Rohingya refugee situation. The United Nations on Monday called on Myanmar to allow a United Nations fact-finding mission to investigate widespread allegations on killing, rape and torture by security forces against Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar's Sarkhan state. The Geneva-based UN Human Rights Council established the inquiry in March, but Aung San Suu Kyi, the de facto leader of Myanmar's civilian government and also its foreign minister, has rejected the allegation and opposes the mission. A Myanmar official said on June 30 that the country would refuse entry to the UN investigators. 
The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations in New York, Nikki Haley, said it is important that the Burmese government allow this fact-finding mission to do its job. The international community cannot overlook what is happening in Burma. We must stand together and call on the government to fully cooperate with the fact-finding mission, she said in a statement. Thank you for watching this ship's decode to see you very soon with more news.